for the upcoming year, Rare are releasing new weapons into the Sea of Thieves world, and in this video, I want to talk everything about them and tell you guys what you can expect with these new weapons being added into the Sea of Thieves world. The release of these weapons are being split up over a few seasons, but most of them are coming with Season 12, which is the next Sea of Thieves season at the time of making this video. Additionally, there's two more weapons that almost work more like tools as opposed to weapons, but they'll be coming towards the end of the year and I believe Season 14. So, now you know the rollout schedule, let's talk about these different weapons in some detail. However, big disclaimer here, we're talking about these weapons before they've actually been released so they could add more things or change some things when they do release in the future so that being said let's go ahead and talk with season 12 now two weapons are coming one in the form of a new pistol and the other in the form of a new throwing knife so this new pistol is essentially a double barrel flintlock which gives you the ability to hybrid it sort of like a blunderbuss and shoot two separate shots that do a large amount of damage about 85 percent of your health However, 85% health hasn't actually been confirmed. It was just through fair observation from the trailer they released to showcase these weapons. So you can hold your attack button, which will either be left click or right trigger, assuming you haven't actually changed any of the settings, and you'll be able to release a blunderbuss-like shot, which would do a large amount of damage up close. Again, about that 85% range. Or additionally, tap your attack button so you can shoot two individual shots, which would do about the same damage. From the trailer, they showed that this flintlock is used best in combo with a cutlass. However, I don't quite think that's the case. I feel like pairing it with something like a blunder bomb or, of course, an eye of reach would be the best way to go. On the topic of blunder bombs, though, we pretty much move to our next weapon, and they are in the form of throwing knives. You could look at these very two-dimensionally and say that they're just a blunderbuss without any AoE and they're more direct impact, but there's a bit more than that that goes on with these. So yes, you can throw them like a blunderbomb to directly hit an opponent and do a lot of damage, but if you do miss them or collide that throwing knife with any object, they can be picked up by either you or an enemy. And of course, there's no AoE on these and it's just a direct impact, so if you do miss, it could be more risky than rewarding. Additionally to this though, you can also use it like a melee weapon. You can do a single attack which allows you to stab and do some slight damage to an opponent, about 15 or so health. Or switch it up and use the throwing knife and heavy attack which sort of puts the knife above your head and stabs down like Michael Myers. It's really cool, but that's the options you can do with these throwing knives. And in turn, they are the two weapons that are coming in the next Sea of Thieves season. Personally, I feel like the throwing knives aren't going to be that useful, while the double barrel flintlock is definitely something I'm going to be looking at. However, it's going to be quite hard to switch off the normal set that I use, which is an Eye of Reach and a Blunderbuss. That's just my opinion though, let's move on to the next set of weapons. So, towards the end of the year we have two new weapons being added. One of these hasn't actually been revealed yet, but has been spoken about. This comes in the form of a blow dart, which allows you to do different effects to it. You could do things like track items, prog sound effects, and do status effects on enemies. However, nothing's really been confirmed here, they've just been theorizing how it's going to be released. Nevertheless though, worth talking about anyway. But as we are breaking down all the new weapons being added into the game, I had to add it because that's also on the list. However, this next item though is also coming in that same end season, and they've already got proper footage and ideas on how it's going to roll out. This is an Eye of Reach, which is also partnered with a grapple hook. So it works like an Eye of Reach, but has an additional grapple hook that you can use like a harpoon, which can bring players and items towards you. And you can also use it to board different ships by hooking onto the side of them and fly up islands in a true Indiana Jones style grapple hook. It seems the grapple hook never gets depleted, so you won't have to find yourself reloading. However, you can't chain the grapple hook to infinitely hold yourself on a location as there is a cooldown. Personally, this feels more like a tool than a weapon, but you can hold it like a weapon and it takes a weapon slot from what we've seen. So it's it counts to me. And in conclusion, that's all of the new weapons being added into Sea of Thieves so far. Let me know your personal favorite down in the comment section and leave a like on the video to show your support. Additionally, to recap, the first half of this year, we're getting a double barrel flintlock and a throwing knife. And towards the end of the year, we're going to be getting a grapple hook and a dart gun. With that being said, hopefully you guys have a good day, night, evening, afternoon, or whatever it is, wherever you are around the world. And I'm going to catch you all in the next one. Goodbye for now.